Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be augmenting objects in the real world as opposed to just scanning markers and overlaying objects onto them. It's a really cool feature of Vuforia. So you can scan any object but we will be scanning a small object such as a punch. You can use an action figure, a mug, pot plant or any small object lying around the house. Just make sure you have sufficient lighting while scanning your object. And just note that we're using Vuforia 7 with Unity 2017.3 but you can do this with earlier versions of Unity and Vuforia. So let's get started with Vuforia's Object Scanner. So first of all, you will need to download an app called Object Scanner. And you can find the link in our GitHub repository. So if you go to github.com, rangegt09, Vuforia AR course, the link will be in the description. So you can go to App Files, and then you can click Download Object Scanner, and also download ObjectScanningTarget.png. Alternatively, you can download the latest version of this app from the Vuforia website. At the time of this recording, Vuforia has only made an app for Android devices, unfortunately. Once you've got this downloaded, you can copy it over to your Android device, where you can install and run it. But before you scan your object, make sure you download and print the scanner target marker. This marker will be used in conjunction with the app while you scan your object. It acts as a reference and adds scale to your object that you are scanning. The grid, as you can see, is in millimeters and you'll find it in the Vuforia AR course in our GitHub repository under app files as well. So once you have downloaded these ingredients, you can scan your object. Try and get as many polygons as you can. It's fine if you skip a few. Then when you're done, we can test our scan 3D object, go back and click test and you should see our 3D object next to your object. And if you rotate and move it, this reference will also move along with it. Pretty cool, right? Next, share your .od file. I'm going to share it via Dropbox, which is easier and then you can copy and paste it. Or you can copy and paste it from the location, SD card forward slash before your object scanner forward slash object recall. Mine is called punch.od and this is the file that we'll import into our Vuforia website and then download the package from there. Okay, now step 2. We need to add our object target to a database. So go to the Vuforia developer website which is developer.vuforia.com Sign in over there and go to develop and then target manager. So we're going to go over here and click add database. I'm going to call this punch. Make sure you type this on device. Click create. Go over to punch, click add target, browse to our 3D object. So the file that we're importing is called punch.od, import that and then click add. So we're just going to wait for our target to upload. So once it's done processing, you can go and click download database, select unity editor and click download. You should land up with a file like this, mine is called punch.unity package. And this is the file that we're going to import into unity. Okay, so back in Unity, we're going to continue from our Hello AR app from the previous videos. If you're starting out fresh, just make sure you've got your AR camera. And under Open Vuforia Configuration, we've got our API license key. And also, if you go to File, Full Settings, Player Settings, that we've got Vuforia Augmented Reality selected. Okay, so now you can go ahead and import our 3D object, drag and drop. And then you can select Import. If you still have image target from the previous lectures, you can delete that because we're going to be using object target instead. You go to game object, go to Vuforia, and then go to 3D scan. This will instantiate an object target. Let's just scale down our target to 1. Under database, we go to punch.ot, and this will bring up our punch 3D object that we've scanned in. Let's just rescale it again. There are other settings you can set also. But let's keep them default for now. 
So we're going to add in a small cube for reference just to ensure that our AR marker is working and then we can scale up and reposition into the corner. Before we click play, go to AR camera, we're going to open before configuration. Make sure you load punch OT database and activate it, otherwise it won't work. Okay, click play and then hopefully we'll see our 3D cube next to our paper punch. And there we can see that cube next to our punch. If we move it around and rotate, we can see that our cube follows. Okay, so now we have the basics out of the way. We can add some customization to our 3D object marker to spice things up. So let's add some particle effects from our asset store. Go to the asset store, download and import particle ribbon, which is a free download. Click import. Okay, once it has downloaded, you can go to assets, particle ribbon by moonflower. Go to prefabs. And then you can drag and drop any one of these onto our object target. Just make sure it's centered. You can just scale and reposition. And then finally, we can press play. And when our punch comes, we're able to see a really cool particle effect. Really cool, right? And if we move it, our particle system moves as well. You can try different particle effects and see which works well with your object. Okay, so that is it from me. Post up your AR app in the discussion area of this course. It will be really great to see what objects you've scanned into your project. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share, click the bell icon to see more augmented reality videos and also check out our Patreon page for some special member only perks. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.